Hi guys, all right, we're going to do a strictly love reading. The possible extended, we'll see if it needs one. I'll do one, if not, there won't be one. So we'll see, but this is gonna be specifically love. So universe, what do we need to know at this time? First card out is the lovers and under the deck is the ace of cups. See, when I command my cards, when I tell the universe, actually, well, I should say it, I should say it differently. When I ask my spirit guides for love reading, I'll let them know that's what I want. That that's what they'll channel. So for the viewers that are viewing, it, of course, it should hopefully resonate. Of course, it can't resonate for everyone, so it may not be your reading today. But um, there is something here about a strong connection. I have a hair in my mouth for some reason. And the lovers and the ace of cups under the deck. There could be a an air sign, maybe that you work with. Eight of coins is behind this king of swords energy. Or that you see at your, you know, gym school wherever you go um, I feel like this person watches you like because the way that they're looking down here kind of like trying to stay busy look like looking like they're busy but they're actually looking at you watching you so maybe a Gemini specifically maybe they dream about you or think about you okay I got the word fresh but I get like someone is trying to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables so this could be you know this person you might see this person at uh, the local farmer's market or at the store or something, or uh, so maybe someone is learning to cook, likes to cook. The death card, Scorpio energy, the five of coins, and the two of coins. Why do I feel like this person is missing you? Maybe you're not around anymore. Maybe they've been looking for you. Or you've been looking for them, if you, if you know who this is. I feel like this is... Um, probably them, but because I feel like that was like they miss you. You're not around anymore. The death with the five of coins. They feel on the cold. They're wondering what they should do. Maybe you haven't been um, there very, you know, if it's a job, maybe you got transferred or you quit. Or if it's like a gym, you just don't go anymore. Six of cups, because in the past, they were happy, the sun. So you have this sadness off this person. Like they long for you. They think about you. They wonder what happened to you, where you go, why you're not coming around anymore. Um, let's see what this deck wants to say. I'm also getting someone is single. So that's good to know. Maybe you're wondering, is this person single? They are single. They could have um, ended a relationship five months ago. I just get being very single at this moment, the five of coins in death. Yeah, someone's missing you, but that's the feeling I got. That's my intuition made me feel. I was like, um, no, they, they miss you because you haven't been there lately. You're not showing up. Someone may want to send a message, but they're just too proud. But they're going to roll the dice anyways and take a chance because... They know they would be happy, their perspective. This is like someone who's willing to take a chance and put it out there and say something. And if it's embarrassing, it's embarrassing. If you didn't like them, then oh well. You know, at least, I mean, I encourage everyone to just say it, put it out there, ask, find out what the person's thinking, you know? Um, so they could be texting you, putting their pride aside, knowing that they're tired of waiting, they're tired of wondering what you're doing, where you're at. So you must have some sort of like interaction where they do know your name, they know possibly, you know, online, uh, your accounts, or, you know, they have your phone number, something here, their perspective is to reveal. Instead of holding everything in, they want to reveal, they actually can't let go. This could also mean just like they, uh, this doesn't have to be a bad card, because it's sometimes like they, maybe they're strutting their stuff, they walk around, you know, confident, they want you to notice them, they're not showing a lot or sharing a lot. But they're realizing maybe that backfire because now you know you're not there they had their chance they missed it they didn't say anything uh, they didn't tell you how they felt or you don't know, even ask you out for like coffee or a drink or something and now they have a heavy heart because they missed that opportunity so they're thinking well gosh maybe a better way of doing things would be to be more forward to say something to have a conversation you know reveal what i'm thinking or feeling because you know at least they feel like they would know you know if, are you interested are you you know how do you think how do you think or feel about them? Are you thinking about them? So, yeah. Um, but again, somewhere in the past, the two of you were happy. Maybe a Leo doesn't need to be, but so that could mean like you work together. They enjoyed seeing you at work. 
Um, you would show up wherever this place was. You guys would talk. Hour, and then somebody moved, so somebody left. This could be also be someone got fired or quit. Someone uh, left. Three of Cups celebrating. Could be a promotion too. Ace of Cups. Swords. There could have also been that the someone in this connection, you or them, was already in a relationship, and they uh, like. But let's just say this is the easy one. Like this is your gym trainer and you were already married. And so they found that out and they were devastated, but they decided, okay, I'm not going to say anything or do anything. Cause I don't want to get involved with a third party. Um, I'll look, you know, I'll keep looking, but they still miss you. Now somebody maybe is divorced since that time or separated or something like that. Tower third party, but something has ended. So it could mean again, because I got over here, someone has now split from someone, someone's single, available, they divorced or left somebody. Maybe the timing is right now. So before it wasn't, now it is. What else? Someone could be um, heavy set. They could definitely be also someone who is a, has muscles, like very stocky, I guess you would call that, whether this is feminine or masculine I'm picking up on. Someone could be, somebody either recently cut their hair off or cut it short, or they have very long hair. So maybe have, may have long hair right now, get it out. But they've been thinking about cutting it off, cutting it very short or something like that. That's the page of coin that just fell out. But it's communication here, the Nine of Cups and the Sun, again, different deck. Might be a Leo. I feel like if you heard from this person, you'd be very happy. Nine of Cups. Again, King of Swords. A lot of, re a lot of repeating cards. Um, Taurus, Pisces energy. Lovers, Gemini energy. They may think about you, wondering what it would be like to be with you physically, you know, sexually here, but they've been holding that back. Four of Coins. This person could definitely be someone who's more on the shy side. And we always see that King of, King of Wands energy that comes out a lot. And that's usually the person who's flirting, who's talking, who's, you know... Um, very like they don't worry what people think a lot of times very forward this is someone who's a little more reserved a little more you know holding back they're not gonna share everything or show their feelings that type of thing but they definitely like you nine of cups i do get if you heard from this person you'd be happy or if you saw him again you'd be happy christopher someone's name may be christopher i'm also like a name like anthony it could be like tony or alex alexandra something like that um, someone may be like have the name like Sam or go by Samantha or you know Samuel so they're also referring me to like Samson which I don't hear that name except for maybe the Bible so may again and didn't he have long hair um, at one point so maybe there's a reference to to religion or something here for someone maybe it's a church situation someone may have like olive skin someone may be Greek also that I'm picking up. I always get so many random things. I don't know if I should say them all. Like toast. The toast is coming in. Like someone loves to have bread or toast. And there is something significant. But okay. Love flipped around in the deck. But it didn't come out. Shows what we need to know for this particular reading. For the person who is viewing this. And knows who this is. Success fell out along with. We have stepping into a new situation. Oh, this came out, I think, in Capricorn's reading. A wish. With a man with dark hair, dark complexion, could have dark eyes. Also, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. This may have something to do with that reading, but your wish will be granted. Good fortune. Four leaf clover. You could run into this person. This could be like right place, right time. You're not expecting to see them. I'm getting something about a festival or a carnival or a concert or something. Um, I get, you know, someplace, maybe you're like wrapping up summer, even though we're not quite into fall. We have a ways to go. But, you know, maybe someone is like having some sort of uh, end of summer get together or party or something like that. I know it's different and different weather in different places. So take it wherever you live is the opposite. Something about September may be significant as well. So.
so you may be seeing them in September. Reconciliation coming back together. I do get something about somebody's hair. Can you see the pineapple in this deck? How his hair is like, or the pineapple doesn't have hair, but whatever you call that, his stems, his leaves, whatever that is. But I always think of someone's hair, and I'm getting hair is important, significant in this reading. Whether it's your hair or their hair, or someone's changing the color, the length, the style of their hair, shaving it off, going bald, you know, growing it in. Hair is important. Maybe you're getting a new um, hair piece, or getting some extensions or something, or getting a wig. So, all right. Some may look different too. Their appearance may have changed, whether it's you or them. Some may have lost or gained weight or changed the color of their hair, something like that also. Some may have gotten contacts or they're wearing glasses now where they didn't wear contacts. I think glasses are so stylish nowadays. Like, um, I said back in the day, like it used to be like no one wanted glasses, maybe, maybe in school or something, but now I don't know. So many different styles. What is, what do you need to know? You could again be seeing this person at a party, a wedding, a gathering, something like that for a few of you with hair font around the nine of cups. But let's see what this person wants to say or do. Um, we have to the sea, which is going with the flow. It can actually mean going towards water, I found, going on a boat, going on a cruise, uh, taking a vacation, but going with the flow to be fair. Serendipity, right place, right time. So there's something here, oh look, chaos and conflict is under the deck, but it's in reverse. So no more chaos and conflict, something working out. It could be around your home or the situation. But this is like just kind of going with the flow, like not let, letting things unfold, not taking like a whole lot of action towards a situation or person, or maybe just your love life in general. And because of that, now you're gonna be at the right place, right time, serendipity, something lucky. I definitely get like something about being outdoors and then maybe seeing this person ring into this person. And if that's just not possible because you live in two different states or countries or something or two different cities, then um, one, be ready for something that might like really shock you because they could be there. You could be somewhere where they're at. You both are traveling or something. So just be aware you could see them. Spirit has a way of working things out. But for others of you, There's someone else who's a go-between. There's another person involved who might relay a message. Serendipity is what I'm getting. Listen to your intuition. Some sort of victory. An offer opportunity that brings in some sort of victory. Some of you also have been kind of just going with the flow and nothing's really been going on in your life or maybe it's even been, been this way for years. Um, you've just been putting in the grind, going you know day to day, doing your thing, working, whatever it is you do. There's something coming in and it's gonna come in kind of quietly. It's an offer, an opportunity from um, a friend, a family member, a coworker, you know, whatever, the two of wands. Um, it could just be a, something that you have to decide to do or to, you know, are you going to take this path or that path? It could be like, you know, should I, make this change or should I go here or I get like you're going to know what to do the answer is yes or it's like take plan b or take the second option or something and it's going to bring you some sort of really good luck or it's going to yeah bring you in something that just like everything just kind of works together Person is going to reveal what's under the deck the two of cups this is revealing this is someone who has been holding something in holding back for a long time four of coins and then kind of just lets it out with the lover's energy just makes that choice to be very open with you and just express their feelings so i mean it's like very opposite energy this guy is fully clothed on the left holding everything close to him and then the right side you know very opposite free open energy and that's what i'm kind of getting is going to happen it's like suddenly one day someone expresses something to you and it kind of shocks you. And it's like, really? Uh, you don't really see this coming and it just makes you happy. So 
Someone, again, going back to missing you. Someone could live in um, Hawaii, is what I'm getting, also with the pineapple, or live in an area where there's, uh, I get like a lot of moisture, a lot of rain. It could be humid where you're at. I'm getting like something like around moisture. Um, what is this person thinking or feeling about you right now? What are they thinking and feeling about you right now? They want a brand new beginning. They want to do something reckless. I feel like this is someone who's not reckless. I'm looking at these green tights today. And for some reason, this feels like this is a reckless thing to wear green pants, green tights. Somebody doesn't normally, and that's not that really colorful, but to this person, they want to say or do something that seems kind of reckless or out of the ordinary. They want to share their feelings. This definitely could be their cars are flying. Definitely could be an, an earth sign. I saw the king of coins, but I'm seeing the king of swords came out with the knight of cups. The queen of wands is how they may view you. And the three of cups, upright is happiness, celebration, dating. It, I think can't reverse. So I think there's no third parties I'm getting. They may be keeping tabs on you. Again, to see, are you in a relationship? Are you available? What is this right here? Oh, the rose. Romance is in the air. The five of cups missing you so again I get something about also like being in a parade being at I don't know maybe this is 4th of July New Year something else other someplace else yeah I'm just kind of getting the feeling was that someone's just gonna be open and share their feelings and send a message because they're tired feeling sad and missing you that's bottom line and so why not? Why not put it out there? At least someone could stop wondering. And, you know, just if you don't want to talk, then they'll know. If you like this person, they'll know. All right. I may do an extended for this one and see what comes through. If I do, I'll put the link below. Otherwise, I would, um, again, be open to I'm getting like a run-in, like running into somebody you haven't seen in a while. Or receiving messages from somebody that you haven't spoken to but think about where you used to go that you don't go there anymore that your routine changed the store closed you quit that job that's that person and they were more reserved they wouldn't be like that like I said like they wouldn't be that king of wands in your face energy or queen of wands they'd be more reserved a little more quiet um, kind I get kind but still again they may may have even kind of been known for being kind of um, what's the word like when you don't like not a loner but somebody who just kind of spends more time on their own but anyways okay so we'll see I'll see what comes through so I'll put the link below have a great week you guys